Hi guys, today I will be sharing a requested video, which is an excerpt of The Killing Jar by Jennifer Bosworth. I've talked about this one a bit recently and how the style really won me over, especially in the beginning, and that because I'm the type of person that will judge a book and decide whether to buy a book based on how it starts and whether it grips you, that this would have been a definite instant buy because I thought it was a really compelling intro. I think that piqued enough curiosity that people wanted to know what was so compelling about it, so I said I would share a bit with you and that's what I'm gonna do. If you want my full thoughts on the book, you can find those in my last five books video where I reviewed all of the most recent stack of books that I read. But as for the excerpt, I'm gonna get straight into it. So, from the prologue of The Killing Jar by Jennifer Bosworth. Prologue, The Killing. I try not to think about it, the time I killed a boy. But the problem with trying not to think about something is that you'll think about it even more. So that's what I do. I think about it. I dream about it. I obsess. But I never, ever talk about him, the boy whose life I took. I didn't want to kill him. At least, I don't think I did. Or maybe that's just what I tell myself so I can live with what I am. What I did. How I did it. I was ten years old, and so was he. His name was Jason Dunn, and on the outside he appeared to be as normal as his name. His family lived next door to mine on the outskirts of town. My bedroom window gave me a direct view of the path to the river. I watched Jason take that path every day after school. He always came back smiling to himself in a way that made me feel cold and queasy, like I'd eaten something bad. So I followed him, and I found out why he smiled like that. Jason liked to kill. Insignificant things, mostly. Small murders that would go unnoticed. He chopped up worms into wriggling segments and fried them with a magnifying glass. He pulled the wings from moths, or misted trails of ants with hairspray and set them on fire. Miniature tortures that parents tend to write off as boys being boys. Cruelty as a phase like puberty. Jason's preferred method of torment was to put butterflies in his killing jar the kind entomologists use to kill insects quickly without damaging their specimens. There was a swab of poison in the bottom, a fast-acting toxin. Although Jason had a cork board where he pinned dead butterflies and moths, beetles, and spiders, he brought his collection to school every time we had show and tell, he wasn't in it for the scientific observation. He just liked to watch things die. But then he went too far. So there you have it, a pretty damn compelling intro if you ask me. Definitely makes you want to know how and why a 10 year old killed another 10 year old and um, where things went from there. So as I said, you can see my full thoughts in my last five books video, spoiler alert, thumbs up. And all the info about the book and links to where to get it, of course, are in the info so you can check all of that out there. But that is all for this excerpt. If you have any other books that you would like me to share a little teaser with you, definitely let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, let me know what you thought of this one. But that is all for now. As always, thanks for watching and happy reading. I watched Jason take that path. Now there. Let your cat lift and stop making noises. Move.